Can we compute the logarithm of a matrix? Well, yes, we can define it, but using the definition to compute it is not so pretty. Instead, we will use a little trick that works in many important cases, as you will learn in this video. So first, the definition. Well, the idea is to use the Taylor series of the log of 1 plus x, where x is some small number, uh, in order to converge. So, you know from basic calculus that this Taylor series look like this. Now you can use this for matrices. You say, okay, we have a log b. We want to write it as 1 plus something. Well, the 1 for matrices is the identity matrix. So we write it as a log of the identity matrix plus b minus i. And then we use the same series. It's the b minus i to the power n over here. And in this way you can compute the log of b, certain conditions. Uh, because you have b minus i, you can compute that to the power n, that's a power, so you can compute that and you can sum everything up. So in principle this works, but you have an infinite series, so this is not a very convenient formula. So by using this formula you can show that e to the power log a equals a. And we can use that instead to compute the log of some matrix in, practic in some practical cases. Because what's the idea? Suppose you have some matrix A given and you want to compute B, its log, so B equals log A. That means if you compute e to the power B equals e to the power log A equals A. So in fact, so you have your A and you have to solve a matrix equation. You want to solve the matrix equation e to the power B equals A. Ah, what's the idea? Well, what you often try to do is to find some A tilde, some other matrix, such as e to the power is A tilde equals A. So, how, uh, how can you do that? Well, so what uh, works often? We will use a small lemma for that. If you can, if you can write your e A tilde as P times D tilde times P inverse, where this D tilde can be a diagonal matrix, but for the lemma that's not necessary, just necessary that you can write as p times some matrix times p inverse, then uh, the lemma tells you that e to the power a tilde equals p e to the power d tilde p inverse. So it basically says that you can your put your p and p inverse in the exponent and out of it. Well, why is this true? Well, a tilde to the power n equals, well here you have an a tilde, another a tilde, another a tilde, you have n a tildes, a big row of a tildes, but all those p and p inverses, so here's a p inverse times p and a p inverse times p, etc., they all cancel out. So in the middle you only have d times d tilde times d tilde times d tilde, n times. So you're left with p times d tilde to the power n times p inverse. Now, you can use that to simplify the expression for e to the power a tilde using the power series of the exponential function over here. Uh, plug in your expression for uh, a tilde to the power n, which is simplified now. Now those p and p inverses are not part of the summation, so you can take them out. So you can take the p in front and the p inverse behind. So there they are. And you only have a summation over d tilde to the power n left, which gives you an e to the power d tilde. So e to the power a tilde becomes p times e to the power d tilde times p inverse. And if you plug in what a tilde is, we have this expression over here, so you see that you can put your p and your p inverses outside of the exponent. And that's a, a very useful property which we can use to find our a tilde such that a to e to the power a tilde equals a for some practical examples in the next video.